A common problem with new lifters and the press is achieving the correct start position for each rep. Specifically, achieving the correct start position for every rep after your first rep. The correct start position for the first rep should be accomplished by correctly gripping and unracking the bar in the first place. We've got a couple videos that address that topic and we'll link to those videos in the description below this video. But today, we're specifically talking about getting the correct start position for the rest of your set. So for rep two, rep three, rep four, etc. The key is to finish the press where you start the press. So if this is where you start, and it should be, elbows slightly in front of the bar, squeezing the bar tightly with relatively straight wrists, then remind yourself after locking out the rep overhead to lower it back to this exact same position. What we don't want to happen is for you to lower the bar back to this elbows behind the bar, wrists in severe extension type of position. It's a weaker position. It's tough to support a heavy weight in this position, and now you've got to spend time and energy getting back to the correct start position. Worse, if you don't spend that time and energy getting back to the correct position, it's harder to press the bar overhead from this weak position, and it often contributes to a forward bar path on the next rep as well. So again, the key is to finish where you start. If you still find that lowering the bar consistently to the correct start position is difficult, try this mental picture. Imagine that you are standing very close to a wall while lowering the bar. Picture yourself dragging your elbows down the wall while keeping your fists, and therefore the bar, away from the wall. Remember, you aim for your nose with the bar on the way down as well as on the way up. It's a slightly exaggerated picture of what we actually want to happen, but a number of our members have found this very useful. We hope this was useful, and if it was, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, or give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time, and as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.